Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to visit Sri Chamarajendra Zoo at Mysore. Before heading to this destination, we had a very nice breakfast at the place we stayed. The breakfast was really delicious and uh, had lots of variety. Most of the South Indian dishes that you can see here, puri, poha and uh, lots of uh, fresh fruits and bread and jam. After having breakfast, we are heading towards the zoo here. Mysore is a very nice city and well built, well planned city. You can see that uh, the circles are really nice, wide and roads are really wide. And traffic is also not like uh, Bangalore. It was really free and uh, the destination was approximately 10 minutes from the place we stayed. Once we reached the place, we had to park our vehicles. Uh, there is a private parking space opposite to the zoo here. Once you park the vehicle, there is uh, an entrance where you have to buy your tickets. Once you enter, there was a lot of uh, boards where you can read uh, restriction about uh, COVID and uh, how you should uh, maintain social distancing and usage of uh, sanitizers here. As soon as you enter, there is uh, a section where you will see various birds and uh, all the birds have a detailed description about uh, their types, species and uh, the food requirements of these birds and uh, geographical location of these birds and most of the information is written both in English as well as in Canada, so it is very easy to read. And we were very lucky or fortunate enough to see the dancing of this white peacock. All the kids enjoyed a lot watching this. Mysore Zoo is very huge. Approximately about uh, a distance of uh, 5 kilometers of walking is there. There is uh, actually an electric vehicle service as well uh, for people who cannot walk such a long distance and uh, you can use this facility for a cost In the next section, we got to see tigers, lions and uh, one white tiger as well. Uh, they have created uh, natural habitat for these animals. So sometimes the animals can go behind these uh, um, artificially created mountain like areas and uh, we might not be able to see but we were lucky to see this white tiger as well. In the zoo, it is very nice to see such informative boards about animals and their species and how to identify them. It is very useful for school children as well. There are many boards as well where uh, the instruction have been given to adopt these animals for one year period. And lot of information is written how not to behave with these animals for tourists.
we really enjoyed watching uh, elephants and uh, bears My nephew was uh, really excited to see the activities of these uh, hippos and uh, every animal in this zoo is maintained by one person and uh, they really know uh, the requirements and they have been trained to look after these animals. We really were lucky to see the hippo playing with water here with this caretaker. And there were a lot of crocodiles and the tortoise in the next section. And they have created an open space where the birds can fly. And you can walk through this space here. It's really worth visiting this zoo and uh, a must watch place when you visit Mysore. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have really enjoyed watching this, please give a big like for us and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. We have almost come to end of this vlog. You can see last section where you can see giraffes here. It is beautiful and majestic to watch these animals. And stay tuned for the next vlog where I will show Mysore Palace. Please share this video among your friends and family members. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. See you in the next video.